Slim Drink by the paint, hang drove by the pine. Headed to the club in the box top dine. Slim thug about to climb, represent H time. If you love me, you gon' smile. If you hate me, you gon' grind. Uh. Yo, what is up guys? So welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on the front suspension. We're going to install the front bushings for the lower control arms and get the all that put together. And then we're going to take off some other parts like the, the knuckle for the uh, passenger side. And uh, I think that's, that's it. But we're going to be working on the front suspension for today. And let's just get right into it guys. Let's, let's stop wasting time. Let's go. All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna be removing the strut and the strut, uh, strut bar and the upper control arms. Now the strut bolts are 14 millimeters and the upper control arm bolts are 17 millimeters. All right, let's take them off. This is what it looks like if something gets in the way like this bracket right here just move it out of the way and so you can get the bolt we're going to do the exact same thing on this side we're going to take off the strut the upper control arms and the lower control arms and the uh axle Right here, I'm going to show you guys how to take off the uh, bolt for the lower control arm. It's a 19 millimeter, and it's easy to access with a wrench. If it's tough to break it loose, double up on wrenches. I don't have a uh, press at home, so I let my dad take these t these uh, lower control arms to his work so he could press out the old rubber bushings for me. But now I'm going to press in the new polyurethane bushings for you guys, and I'll show you guys in a bit. So I wanted to let you guys know that all these control arms and components have indicators if they go on the left side or right side of the car. I'll also be installing the polyurethane bushings for the up control arms. Way I'll also be removing my axles because I'm going to be replacing them and the socket size is a 32 millimeter. Show you guys which bushings are for what. Um, these are for the, the upper ball joints and lower ball joints. I might use these. And then these are for the tire ends. Uh, I'm gonna probably use these also. And then this one is for the, the lower control arm. And there's all these bushings for the, the ones where the bushings go. And then this one is, I think, also for the lower but the control arm. 
and this is for the power steering rack and this is for the sweet bar which is going to be the last thing I install all right let's install these also guys it'd be a pretty good idea if you cleaned out where the bushing goes and to clean it out with the wire brush or and sand it down a little bit that's what I did Okay, this bag I just opened comes with these bushings, the ones that go on the ends, and then it comes with the four upper arm bushings for the swivel, swivel swivel joint, and then it has this this one for the lower control arms. For this one right here, I just need to press this one out and put this one on, and then. This one, these two are for this goes, and then these two are for the are for the shocks, I, I believe. I want to see what the paper says. This is what it says. And I believe that this one is for the top part of the strut, and I'm not going to be using this. Maybe using these two, which go right here. Which is this right here. Install it and loop up everything. Get everything inside. Actually, these should go in right here. And it should be uh, easy. I don't have a press with me, so I'm gonna let my dad take these to his his uh, work, so he can press them in for me. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna film that part because it's pretty easy. Same thing with these; you just press these out, and then you press in the new ones, which are these. And then that's about it. And then these are already done, so this is what they look like. These are pretty easy to put in. You just press them in with your hands. If it's a little bit tough, just hammer them in, and make sure you lubricate them pretty well. That's it. Right now we're going to take off these, this uh, nut for the axle, it's a 32mm, so we're going to use this big old socket, and then we're going we're gonna to use this impact gun right here, and we're going to take it off. off. I'm going to use this punch, and I'll put it right here, and then hammer it out. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be removing all the axles, and it's the same process on both sides. Got it off, easy peasy. Now let's take this out. Oh, look, it slid up. Actually, never mind. Actually, I forgot to mention you guys should get some bungee cords so bungee cord so the axle isn't hanging. This is what I have. Let me use this and tie it up here. This strut is. Okay, now. We can set it loose and it just hangs there. 
Okay. Now that that's off, I'm gonna take off this so I can take off the knuckle, and then I'm gonna get access to the upper control arm and take off the strap. take off the upper control arm and the spring. While I'm here, I'm going to move this out of the way. Was just hanging there. Make sure you guys don't lose any bolts, put them back where they're supposed to be. And then for this right here to take these off, it's 14 millimeters on both sides. And you use a wrench on this side and then the, the ratchet on this side and you take it off. And then I'm gonna get these pressed out and then put it pressed in press in the new ones. Stay I'll save the lowering spring insulation for these in a different video. I'll go more into detail of installing them. Take these off by using a uh, flathead or a pipe bar. I should get the job done. There. Okay, this is the finished product. The bushings are in. These go in right here. This is the other side. And then in the next episode, I'm going to be installing those and most likely the upper control arms and struts. And make sure you guys stay tuned till the next video.